let's try attempt number two in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm very, I'm confident I can beat my forest follies time. Also, I personally like Mugman a little more than Cuphead. They play exactly the same, but I like his mannerisms and uh, animations a little more. Alright. I'm also now warmed up. So that might also help. Beautiful. Much better. It's gonna be like 130 as opposed to 207. That's a golden split right there. <laughs> 33 seconds faster. I'm also very confident I can do better on this second level. I normally don't die on it, and I died like four or five times. Apart from my jump button sticking. Come on. Booyah! We're doing way better! <laughs> yeah, so I died to this, I died to the last level, I died to Beppy, I died to Baroness. <laughs> Your phone just let me you know that I started streaming. <laughs> my phone does the same dumb thing. Where it's like, my phone lets me know when I am streaming. It's like, hey, did you know Colorful Artie just went live? It's like, well, of course I did. He's me. <laughs> All right, root pack. Good day for us. That was perfect luck on Weepy. Sweet. Wow, okay, that was essentially a perfect root pack right there. I don't see a whole lot of ways you could do that better. At least in terms of speed. I am liking this run. Right, let's try Ribby and Croaks on for size. They went pretty well last time, so. If I can just do the same thing, that would be great. Darn it. I was hoping Croaks would attack first.
How could anyone not just fall in love with this music? This is the slowest one, because you can only use the roundabout, which is not as powerful as the spread if you can get close enough to say we use the spread. same as it did last time, I think. Maybe a little slower. Oh, we're out of gold split territory now. We're just in green split. Oh, well. Let's hope for a good Goopy fight. Goopy's fairly consistent. A great plan. Oh, wow. I died to Goopy because he did an unpredictable jump. Wow. And because I sucked. That is humiliating. Goopy's one of the easiest bosses in the whole game. Expecting him to not rebound off of the wall. <laughs> well, at least the second fight went well. But I died to Goopy, and I can never live... I would now have to live with that shame for the rest of my life. Same time, though, for the second fight. Blast. And I was doing so well. How am I back to gold split territory? <laughs> How? <laughs> I do not understand. Alright, this time we're getting the Gemini phase instead of the Sagittarius. A bit more manageable. So you want to fire the default? Oh, man. I was... Never mind. I was going to say, you want to fire just the regular EX attack, the giant bullet, when her head is extended, because you can hit her, like, five or six times with it. 
Oh, so it racks up a ton of damage. A plus for Hildeberg. I wasn't even trying. To A plus her specifically. I was trying to beat her. Alright, Cagney. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. That was strange. It did not let me switch to my spread shot, which would have dealt extra damage during the that. that. There we go. Darn it! <sighs> that was kind of a no-win situation. I could have gotten hit by the Thorns, that Fane, or Cagney's, like, attack. There we go. I'm still over a minute ahead of where I was last time, but... Mm. Dying to Goopy and Cagney. That's not a very good start. Cane dice. Let me through. And we're back to gold splits again. I don't know how. Hey, Beppy! Beppy's one of the only good clowns in video game. Actually, just one of the only good clowns. He's not creepy, he's just fun. Good spot. <laughs> Hopefully I can take out Beppy before the penguins start throwing baseballs at me. That was a good Beppy fight. Sometimes he can corner you with the roller coaster and his uh, merry-go-round horse. Why that didn't happen this time? So it seems like I'm still dying, but I'm dying on different stuff. I can move with that. Funhouse Frazzle. Here goes. I was really happy with the way this went last time. Hopefully it can go the same way. But 
as far as starting out like exactly the same way. Except I didn't get hit by that thing. This is really good luck thus far. That last part was a little sloppy. I was hoping it would open up at the top rather than the bottom, but oh well. Still pretty good. 48 seconds is not bad at all. Part of me wants to try buying the lobber instead of the chaser, because chaser is slow. Because it's very weak. And the lobber could make the Grim Mitch to fight faster. Okay, that's not good. Luck again. Seems like it's always the worst pattern. Still, free HP for the end is very nice. Alright, that was a much better fun fair fever. That's going to be an Emerald split. Nice. And it was a P rank, too. Because I didn't kill anything. Yeah, this is a very good run this far. I've died a couple times, but that's fine. They were relatively quick deaths. Hi! It's you, Candy Corn. You were the one guy we didn't see last time. Jawbreaker? Jawbreaker! We have a pink jelly bean that came out as well. That's great. That's so weird. Sometimes she chucks her head immediately, and sometimes she doesn't. Goodbye. Like, sometimes she will literally just immediately chuck her head like she did that time, and sometimes she'll wait like five seconds to do it. I don't know what determines that. Still, this is a good, good run. For me. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are like, um, Artie, this is not that good. Um, and it's probably not as far as professional uh, speedrunning goes. I am no professional. Hi, Jimmy. Or Jimmy. It's probably Jimmy the Great. Daggers again? 
Nice! Much better than a treasure box. Darn it. I wasn't able to use my super art on him. I wanna use I ideally wanna use a super art on him in that first phase. Oh yeah. Jimmy is not that bad though, just casually. I also found he's a lot easier to S-rank than I made him out to be. All you have to do is use the heart charm. That would have saved me a lot of grief. Not the twin heart, that would take too long, but the heart charm. He basically dies coughing on his... Don't smoke. That's what Jimmy did, and he died. Mugman! Excuse me, pardon me, coming from... Hi, Wally Warbles. A great slam and then stop. This guy is the hardest to S rank. I used to think it was Jimmy. It's not. It's him. Wally Warbles. He gets so ludicrously difficult on expert mode. And even if you use the heart charm, it's still not a guaranteed victory. Creative fight. I'm sorry, but what? I was mashing the crud out of that super art uh, move. I should have used it and become invincible. That's bogus. I used. The, I was mashing that button to turn into a giant bullet, and I had enough cards to do so. I actually don't want him to do this move when he's up at the top of the screen. It makes it hard to shoot him. Definitely shrunk hey, there, but all right. Darn it. This is where the run's gonna catch up to me. I keep dying at, like, the very end. This is not good, because this is a long fight. I blame my controller on both of those deaths, by the way, because I was definitely using a move. In both cases, and it just didn't register my inputs. It doesn't help that Wally Warbles' final phase is 
really stupidly cheap. His hitbox is freaking enormous. Yeah, it might not look it, but, like, if you go, like, even close to his chest, you will take damage. So you basically have no room to maneuver during that last phase. Darn it. I'm still low. I'm still in the green, but I lost at least two minutes on that. And I'll probably be dying to Grim Matchstick because I didn't die to him last time. And he, this is the toughest boss for me. On regular mode. Like, I was parrying there. Don't know what's up with that. What's up with that hitbox? You all saw that, right? That was garbage. Alright! Still one-shotted this guy, and I think I did it faster than I did last time, so sweet! Yeah, there are still a few very wonky hitboxes in this game that I really wish the developers would fix. It's mainly Grim Matchstick and Wally Warbles that are the most egregious. Especially Wally Warbles, because I feel like they actually made his hitbox bigger. Time for rumor, honey bottoms. Let's hope the fight goes really well, like it did last the last two times. I actually parried something without auto parry. That's like a first. Wow, getting very unlucky with the platforms. <laughs> We're already on our final phase, though. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, that's basically a perfect fight. <laughs> Take that room. Wow, who even needs the chaser? <laughs> Woo! Praise Jesus. Now if only Rugged Ridge goes a little better.
This stage is really difficult. I think it, I, I would say this is more difficult for me than Perilous Piers is. And it has a lot to do with the auto scroller at the end, especially if you're using Smoke Bomb. Smoke Bomb makes the entire stage easier except for the last half, or the last part, which it makes harder. Come on, that stupid fire bubble every time it screws me over. Okay, I repeat. I don't think there's a single example of a platformer game that has an auto-scrolling part that I actually like. It's one of those gimmicks that like every developer puts in their platformer levels, and they're never fun. Auto-scrollers I don't think are ever fun. Can people think of an auto-scroller that's fun? I really do want to know. Because I personally, off the top of my head, can't. The closest that comes to it is uh, the Donkey Kong Country minecart levels, but those aren't particularly auto-scrollers. <laughs> Those are vehicle levels. Uh, for me, auto scores, ice physics, and wind physics. Like, those really... Those are overused gimmicks that, like, aren't fun. So why do people keep putting them in their games? Alright, Dr. Call. This is definitely the fight that's gotten the least scary over time to me. Because I... The first time I beat this guy, I literally couldn't believe that I beat him. Like, I didn't think it was possible that I would be able to beat him. Then I realized this bullet phase isn't all that difficult to get through. Most of the difficulty just comes from the electric fences. Goodbye! This guy was also shockingly easy to S-rank compared to the other bosses in this area. Time for everyone's favorite rat tank, Werner Vermin. In Marine Corps. The one example of ice physics that's actually fun is uh, Allegro Presto in Rayman 1. But only like one screen. I like how they make almost, not quite the Tom and Jerry screams, but almost the Tom and Jerry screams in this fight. It's so good. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Oh, I love that fight. That fight is so good. <laughs> I did that five minutes faster. Yeah, because I forgot to push the next button before reaching Briny Beard. So my Briny Beard time is going to be more you took. Maybe not. All right, Briny Beard. Good game for us. Well and <laughs> Charge Shot just slaughters this guy. <laughs> Seriously. This guy's an absolute joke if you have Charger. If you don't have Charger, he's actually kind of difficult. 51 seconds. I feel embarrassed that that guy gave me so much trouble to S-Rank. He's not even that hard to S-Rank. You just have to keep an eye on a lot of stuff. Alright, let's try this again. Pea Shooter. Smoke Bomb. Alright. Perilous Piers. Here goes! Those fish, those fish can royally screw you up just by appearing at the wrong place at the wrong time. Darn it! I thought I jumped high enough. That's not good. You're up. The pea shooter should have shot the guy down. It's like impossible for anything to get through the window. Okay, what? Curse you fish! How rapid that stream is. Like, how could anything f fire through with the pea shooter? How did the pink thing get through the pea shooter? Like, it shouldn't be possible. Look how close together those shots are. Once again, always really paranoid about smoke bombing into that orb at the end. Oh, I had an extra HP. I could have damage boost across the ocean. Oh well. That wasn't spectacular. Oh, 
All right, Cal Maria. Here's a real high class bout. Here goes. Here goes. Yes, Blowfish. Or no, Blowfish combined with this attack. The ultimate slap in the face. Oh, wow. I must have damaged her a ton in her first form. Well, Calamaria tends to always almost kill me, but she rarely actually does kill me, so that's nice. Alrighty, Sally Stage Boy. I'm gonna try something different for this one. Instead of Chaser for the last phase, I'm gonna try Charger to see if I can do it faster. I'm also gonna try that for the Phantom Express. This match will get red hot. Sally. Sally actually worries me a little bit sometimes. Alrighty. Let's see how Charger works during this last phase. Very, very well. Alright, forget Chaser. If I can if I can beat Phantom Express easily with the Charger, I will never have to buy the Chaser again, which will actually save me some more time overall in the game. Alright, Phantom Express. Okay, that made no sense whatsoever.
Alrighty, this is going pretty well. Okay, that didn't go well. So he, so it's out of reach of the charger unless you do a diagonal attack. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Dana, I thought I had more than that in terms of HP. Yeah, still three minutes ahead. But I could have been five minutes ahead. Okay. Took damage, but that still was pretty awesome. Okay, Chaser's better for this last phase. By a fair... Not fairly substantial, but... Yeah, Chaser's better for that than Charger is. Yeah, 142. Not amazing. Darn it. I guess it's... I'm glad that I am dying a little bit, because that means future runs can have a bit more room for improvement. Alright, keen dice. We actually might fight different fights this time. Sure enough, we will. Oh no, not the tipsy troop! No! Oh no, I hate this fight so much. Here's a real high class bout. It's on. I think that's the first time I've ever defeated the Tipsy Troop, to be perfectly honest. Because I normally reset. Well, I took one damage, so that's not... Well, we're going to see all different fights, unless I'm really bad at the die. Because next we're going to fight number five. We're going up against Hocus Pocus. Oh, no! I'm getting all the worst ones. I don't think I've ever beaten this guy. It's Fear Lab. I swear that dice was rigged. I swear I rolled a 2, not a 3 there. I've never beaten Fear Lab. He's like impossible. All of his attacks are insanely hard to dodge. Hey, Mr. Weezy. I'm not entirely sure why I chose to fight him. Why did I choose to fight this guy? 
takes way longer than the other two. Even the tipsy troop tag took less time. This is the worst king dice I've ever done. I'm not doing fear lap again. I'm doing Hocus Pocus, which is what I wanted to do earlier. This match will get red hot. Now go! This is going terribly. This is the worst keen dice fight I've done in like a very long time. Well, I meant to show off the number eight, but nope, that's not happening. We're doing a roulette again. A brawl is surely brewing. And begin! This run's actually probably going to be around the same length as the last one. Maybe longer! Because Kane Dice is being a butt! Well, I get to show off Magnesio. At least he's a short fight. Yeah. Take that bath. Yeah, this actually is... This is bad. This is going to end up being longer than my first one. Take that. Darn it. I don't know why the die was not landing on the spots I wanted them to. It took six minutes. Ah. And my double fight was really good. So yeah, this run is going to be worse than my last one. That's so dumb. I didn't change my timing on the die rolls, so what I'm the heck happened? Oh, yeah. One HP for the rest of the devil fight. This is yeah, not good. Especially when my controller starts moving when I don't tell it to. Uh. 
hitbox much. Sometimes the first face of the devil goes really well, and sometimes it goes really bad. My controller keeps forcing me to go to the right when I don't want it to. should have died. I definitely shot it plenty of times with the spread. Problem is, the devil has several moves that I would qualify as unfair. Two of his magic spell ones are that. Which is the one he just did, as well as the one that, uh has them circling around you. Oh, well, still good practice. Hello, Epic King uh, 3332. Welcome to the end of the stream, where I'm dying a whole lot against the Devil and King Dice. It was going so much better than my other run. I was like five minutes ahead at one point, and then... Nope, King Dice decided to be a butt, and that's the end. Devil's gone. Yeah, this is going to be the last run of the night. It is... Actually, it's only 9 o'clock. I'm more at the point of... Once I play Cuphead enough for like a couple hours, I start to like lose my ability to play well. As you can see, for the last two splits, plus 20 seconds on King Dice, and then plus 2 minutes 20 seconds on the Devil. Oh, no. Nah. That's a shame, too, because I had so many gold splits, and then... Ugh. That's the nature of the game, though. It's it's such a hard game, and death is inevitable. And if you die on a king dice, especially towards the end... Ooh, Nelly, you're losing a lot of time. That was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. This is a fun game to speedrun, for sure. Especially once you know a lot of the nuances of it.